My name is Steve Jenkins. I write and illustrate nonfiction books for young readers. At this point, I've written more than 40 books about animals and the natural world, many of them co-written with my wife, Robin Page. A few years ago, I began to notice that more and more information was being presented visually as charts, graphs, diagrams, and illustrations, rather than as text. Information pre presented in this way is called infographics. And I started to think about the fact that the ability to read and understand infographics is an important form of literacy for both adults and children. I decided to make an infographic book of animal facts. It's called Animals by the Numbers. Creating the book was challenging but fun, so I started thinking about other subjects. I decided to make a series of small format infographic books about a variety of subjects. There's one about the solar system, one about insects, one about dinosaurs, and of course, one about the Earth. In Earth by the Numbers, infographics help make some of the surprising facts about our planet more easily digestible. I'll share a few of these with you. Most of us know that the continents were not always where they are now. They've drifted around quite a bit. This spread shows how the globe looked at a few times over the past 290 million years, and it shows how it might look in another 250 million years. The continents are all pushed together, much the way they were 290 million years ago. Periodically, there's a large volcanic eruption somewhere on Earth. The force of an eruption is measured by calculating how much rock, ash, and lava is blown out during the eruption. The size of the circles on these pages show the force of a few of these eruptions. A small yellow circle represents Mount St. Helens. Tambora in Indonesia was the largest eruption of the past 10,000 years. It's represented by this circle right here. Tambora flung so much gas and dust into the atmosphere, blocking the sunlight, that the entire Earth cooled off for a couple of years. Imagine the, imagine the effect of the Toba eruption, the largest eruption of the past 25 million years. Uh, Toba erupted about 75,000 years ago. Most folks know that Mount Everest is the highest mountain on Earth, but interestingly, it's not the tallest. Mauna Kea in Hawaii, measured from where it sits on the seafloor, is thousands of feet taller. Finally, this spread shows a timeline of the Earth's history, beginning from when it was a red-hot ball of molten rock. Here's something I was surprised to learn. Some 650 million years ago, the planet was completely covered in ice and snow, even at the equator. It's called Snowball Earth. Lucky for us, it's thawed out a bit. Um, a bit too much, as it turns out. One of the serious problems we face as a planet is global warming. Rising temperatures are melting the ice caps and raising sea levels around the world. They're making hurricanes stronger and forest fires burn hotter. It's my hope that learning about how the planet works can help people appreciate what we have and maybe inspire them to take an interest in where we might be headed. Thank you.